Hi everyone, this is BrioBoy2009. Today I'm going to be doing something true to my name and reviewing the Brio Cargo Mountain set. This set is a gold mine of fun for any Brio fan. It includes three various mountains, the tracks from the Ascending Curves track pack, which I may or may not have recently reviewed, and a tower similar to that found in the Lift and Load warehouse set. The set has a maximum height of 365 meters, and is this big when assembled. Let's look at the back of the box. So on the back we see that it comes with 49 pieces, and comes with 3 flatbed train cars. It is actually a several piece in one. You can actually set up, you can actually set the set up at least 4 different ways if I remember correctly. And on the back, as always, we have pictures of sets. Here we have the forklift truck, the remote control engine, the expansion pack intermediate, and the light-up construction crane. Speaking of construction, I apologize for the background noise. They're remodeling parts of my house, so I can't really do this video proper if they're remodeling. In addition, Here's a couple references. Here we can see Steamer on the box art, KB, and the Grand Roundhouse. But those are for another Choo Choo's episode. Well, let's see if I could suffer through this noise. Let's just open this thing up. This set is so big, I think I might need two hands to open this. This here is the inside of the box. I could do an entire episode of Brio Boy 2009 about how greatly... Brios are designed. And here, and here we have an instruction manual. I just won't need that for a sec. Here we have one of the plastic mountains, which appears to have some sort of stuff inside it. Let's see what that stuff is, shall we? Got it open, so inside we have the mountain itself. And underneath this paper we have some other things miniature mountain here and this I believe goes on top of this and here we have one of the pieces this piece here highly resembles 8 the crane who was featured in the cargo railway deluxe set which you might remember from episode 1 of the choo choos Speaking of the choo-choos, I'll definitely be doing an episode relating to the mountains. These will be used to create the Brioville Quarry. Here, we have another one of the mountains. This one here has something in particular that needs to be placed on top of it. And that something is this thing right here. It's really a challenge to get these things out with only one hand. It looks like I'll need a couple minutes to disinfect this guy. Just a minute, everyone. Alright, so this is one of the main pieces of the set. It is basically a train elevator that you pull it up to here. It connects with this piece here, and that instantly connects to another piece of track. And it also has these grooves in there, which uh, they're, they attach to the wheels, the wheels of the trains. They get onto those grooves, and that's what prevents them from slipping as they're, as they're being carried up. Oh, and, and here we have some other things. This here is what is known as an ascending track. The set comes with three of them. There are the other two. In here is another mountain. I'll get this one out. I just noticed as I was unpacking the set, I got reminded a lot of the big mountain train set. This crane here seems to be a reproduction of the crane that used to be on the Crane and Mountain Tunnel. Or actually still is on the tunnel. In here, we have a smaller little mountain piece. Oh, look, there's little flakes of gold inside the mountains, too. Nice touch, Brio. So 
So there's the mountain there. It looks like there might be a couple of things inside this box. And maybe inside this one too. And this here is another thing. This here is a duplicate of eight, I mean, the giant stomper thing, also featured in the Cargo Railway Deluxe set. It works just like the other one, only this one here has a slide that the pieces go down. And then we have something that hasn't been featured in a set for a long time. A Brio helicopter. So, the blades here, they turn. The back blade also turns. You can open up so that you can put all the figures you want in there. It doesn't look like there's anything else in the other boxes, but in this box, we do have some things. In here, we have the pieces to the train. We have the dump truck, three cargo cars, each with their own respective load, and a newcomer to the Brioville and Wow Toys Railroad. I'm gonna call you Comrade Cargo. And in here we have, here we have some, some little people here. I'm gonna call you Harry and you George. And then we have a load of gold. It's plastic, as Craney says. And then we have some adapters and some supports up here. And then we also have a danger sign which I will get out now. And there it is right there. And in this box, I assume, is where the tracks are. And I was right. So the tracks included in the set are two of these street tracks, It also comes with, I think, two ramp tracks. There might be more in there. It also comes with this piece here that, that has a little hazard stripe sticker in it. Seven of these little curves. I don't really like those too much, but I am going to use them. One big switch. One little switch, as I like to call them. Uh, uh, a big normal curve. Two little straights. One female female. Actually, three little straights, and one buffer, or stopper track, whatever you want to call it. Aside from that much track, here is everything the Cargo Mountain set comes with. One of these things, another of these, two mountains, two mountain ex extensions, one giant stomper thing mountain, one lift and load warehouse set esque elevator or such. One green cargo engine and driver. Two people. Two uh, supports. Two, uh, three of these weird red things. One bar of gold. One danger sign. Three cargo cars. A truck. And all of this ascending track and all of these things in the middle here. So, I guess I have to put this together now. So, I'm just gonna do that real quick. But first, I need to get these things out of their boxes. Here we have the newest member of the Burioville and Wild Toys Railroad, Comrade Cargo. This will be dumper number three. I actually have three dump trucks. This one included. This one is it. This one's actually the only one that's green. Oh, sorry about that. Brios can easily be fixed, just so you know. There, I think I fixed it. And you can see the engine in there. Hold on, I'm gonna put it back together. Okay, I did it, so this is how it works. Pull it out, and then put it back in. It works just like, just like Goldie I just noticed. And so let's get all of this, all of these things out. And 
and get the people out. I think you were Harry and you were, what was his name? I think you were George, weren't you? All right, we'll put you two there. That's Rocco. I think he might be interested in this. Green is his favorite color. And if there's one thing I know about Brios is that they love to have all sorts of shades of green on them. Light greens, dark greens, evergreens, everything. Anyways, I think I'm going to have to put this set together now. That's the hardest part of it all. Wait, where did I put the instructions again? Oh, way back here. This is where they are. I understand none of this. I'm just gonna base myself off of the picture, just like good old Izzy's toy time does. So, I'll see you guys when I made progress. I finally figured out how this thing works. So, excuse me, comrade. I'll, uh, I'll tell you how this thing works, so... Once a train gets here, oh, sorry about that, that was not meant to happen. I think that woke Harry and George up. Sorry to bother you, fellas. Go back to sleep. If you are sleeping, that is. Brios are non-sentient, but they are in pretend play, of course. That's what the tracks of life are for. So the stomper thing goes like, oh, wait. It goes like that, that, and that. And it goes down here, and then the truck comes, and it can pick it up. Uh, fan of Thomas31, if you're watching this, vroom vroom! Yeah, that's what happens. And these two are linked up by an ascending track. This part here, how this part works, is that when the train comes, eight the crane can pick the cargo up and send it down an avalanche. But if 8 were successfully operating, he'd do this. He'd move the... He'd swivel his body and move the cargo into this position so that the helicopter, which I think has, yep, a magnet on its undercarriage, can pick it up and fly wherever in the world it needs to go. Then for the tallest of them all... Here's how that one works. Last remaining cargo car. Uh, Harry, you will be the crane operator. Hold up, let me put you in the seat option there. And so they lower the boom on here. Then they pick up the load. And they, um, they drop it. They hoist it down, down onto the ground. And that's how that part works. And here's the real interesting part that I just noticed. Uh, where's, uh, Comrade Cargo? There you are. And I think that's how it works. Yep, I'm certain that's how it all works. I'm definitely certain now. Then for this big piece, you need one of the ramps to connect it up to the rest of the set. So you do this. Oh, that, that was a problem. So you do that. And I'll show you how the set works in just a bit. Just let me finish building it. So this part here is almost done. But I feel like I need one extra piece of track. It's a good thing that I have Mr. Rolly to help me. No. Yes, this is the one. Hold up, make sure it's a... Uh... Nope, this does not look like a Brio. But I am going to use it anyway. The important thing is that the set is completed. Which it is. And now that the Cargo Mountain set is all built, let me show you how it works. 
You know, I think this set is turning out to be one of my favorite sets Brio has ever made. And I've only grown to loving it. Oh, sorry. Derailed there. Brio is not any means poorly designed. I applaud Brio for their creative engineering. No, not you, Air Infector. I love the Rock of Fire explosion, though. Anyway, back to Brio's. Uh, I think Comrade Cargo would be best off... Better off pushing the cars. He would push them in here. Then one of them would go on the little elevator. Turn the crank. And we'd be going up. Lower the barrier here. Then push the cart down. Well, sorry about that. So basically how I think of it is you're just loading the car at different stops. Wait, let's see if it can make it all the way around. Oh, it can. So I think I have a new use for this set. Well, I think that about wraps it up. So that's the Cargo Mountain Set. See you next time on Brio Boy 2009. And remember, keep your friends close. And your trains closer.